Hello, so I have been wearing my water shoes for a little over a month now, going on runs, generally just wearing them when I go out or go places, but yesterday I decided to take them to the next level, taking my water shoes on a hike up Poo Poo Point, which is on Tiger Mountain near here in Issaquah. It was a lot of fun, I learned a few things, let's get to it. Baby, how are your feet? Good. Like when you step on all these little rocks? Um, the rocks aren't exactly comfortable, but they don't really hurt either. That's not bothering me, you know? Because it might be one of those things that like wears on you over time. But so far for a short distance, it's not a problem. So far, I'm much more careful though. Yeah. <laughs> not stubbing your toes? I'm not stubbing my toes. <laughs> you haven't seen that happen yet, have you? It's usually on the way down though. Yeah, so we'll see how that goes. Ow! Was that number one? That was number one. <laughs> Why did we have to mention it? I was hoping to get zero toe stubs. As long as it's less than 50, eh? Yeah. <laughs> We're at the baby top. Normally there are beautiful views here. Behold, white. <laughs> that is really, really, really cool. So pretty. Last time I did this hike. You did it in sandals, and I thought you were crazy. Uh -huh. And now I'm doing it in water shoes, and I'm the one that's crazy. Two miles, exactly. Oh, look at the beautiful views of Issaquah. So there has been a couple of times, babe, that I've stepped on like a tiny rock and it really dug in. That's fairly rare. And I've, and I've noticed it more going down than going up. Very nice intro hike for the year. Very nice intro hike for me in the water shoes. So I didn't try to like destroy yeah. myself. Hike out. We arrived. Ta-da. So on a whole, a four mile hike was actually a really good call. Didn't push it too much. My feet didn't really get tired. I noticed that the back um, of my ankle on my right leg started to get tired. Um, and I think that's just from stepping on the ball of the foot a lot more than I would in boots. I would pound more on the heels. And so I think that tired out that muscle a little bit, but. The final stats are 4.27 miles with an elevation of 1589. Elevation is just a condensed version of elevation gain courtesy of yours truly, wifey approves. Um, the total time was one hour and 49 minutes. So, really good show. So the Poo Poo Point Trail is not that long and it's not terribly rocky, but it does have its fair share of rocks. One of the things that I noticed is that the thin sole of the water shoe, while it is protective, like you're not gonna get cut up when wearing this, sharper, small rocks, will protrude up when you're coming down the mountain and you jump or you take a step that lands fairly hard. It's kind of painful. The other thing that I noticed is that the water shoe is made mostly out of a very stretchy, elasticy thing and the laces on it are kind of just like a bungee tie kind of a thing. So the shoe doesn't really want to stay on the foot and it slides to the left, slides to the right, slides back. Your toes kind of slide out into the stretchiness that is the upper of the shoe. So you're not necessarily uh, secure over the sole and it, it really wasn't the best for that. It wasn't the most secure for that. Well, it worked and it definitely did the trick and I quite enjoyed the experiment. It's just not secure enough. Doesn't have the amount of protection that I typically like to enjoy. I kind of noticed the next day, so today when I woke up, I noticed that my feet kind of felt it 
It's like when you wake up the day after a really hard exercise, you kind of feel it the next day. I kind of felt it today, um, but I still went for a run. It was totally fine. This is not the first time that I've gone for a hike in water shoes. When I was around the Lake Roosevelt area, I would grab water shoes or sandals and hike up the hills around there. And that was mostly because it was what I had. It wasn't because it was what I preferred. So this is really kind of the first time that I'm like, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna use my water shoes in lieu of uh, hiking boots and hope for the best. And I only stubbed my toe once. Ow. Which is way better than stubbing my toe 50 times, which I did on a hike last summer wearing hiking boots. And I think that's, a lot of it is due to me being hyper careful where I'm putting my feet because not much protection. So I wasn't trusting my shoes to do the work for me. And it kind of was better off as a result of that. So I just got these. These are the Zero Shoes Mesa Trail. And I wore them for the first time on a run today. And I really liked them. These are more of a true barefoot friendly shoe. I'm really, really excited to review them and compare them to what I've been testing out as my intro to barefoot shoes, my water shoes. So stay tuned for that. Thank you all for watching. Come back next time. See ya. It's now raining. Yeah, we beat the rain. We beat the rain. We just got back in time. Hello.